Hello, and this is Sunny. Welcome back. Different types of networking keyboards are used to connect different devices. In networking, the most common keyboards include coaxial keyboard, twist pair, optical fiber, and parallel or serial keyboards. Their uses depends on the networking topology, hardware, software, and network size. Networking keyboards, connectors, and their specifications belong to the physical layer or layer one of the OSI model. Today, my topic is a twisted pair keyboard, specifically shielded twist pair, unshielded twist pair, solid keyboard versus stranded keyboard, and a brief introduction to different category rated keyboards. Most modern network keyboards are made from eight wires that are twisted in pairs. Wires are twisted to help eliminate crosstalk, thus improving data transmission performance. Twisted pairs are four color-coded insulated copper wire pairs, orange, blue, green, and brown. In each pair, one wire is a solid color, and the other is predominantly white with a color stripe. More wire pair twists per foot means more resistance to crosstalk, higher quality, and more expensive. Twists per meter or foot is called twist ratio. The higher twist ratio, the less crosstalk, but the greater attenuation. It is important to keep a balance between the minimizing crosstalk and reducing attenuation. Twist pair keyboards can be shielded or unshielded. Let's look at the structure of shielded twist pair first. The outer layer is a plastic jacket or shield. The second layer is braided shielding, some metallic substance which protects the keyboard from electromagnetic interference or EMI. Underneath the braided shielding is aluminum foil shielding. In this example, foil shielding wraps an individual set of wires. Some STP keyboards may have foil shielding for all wires overall, while some STP keyboards have no foil shielding. STP with the foil shielding, individual or overall, is called FTP, fully shielded twist pair. Individual shielding help prevent EMI and also crosstalk from neighboring wires. Each corporate conduct wire is also covered by plastic insulator. STP keyboard is often recommended where EMI is strong. In the structured keyboarding, STP keyboards are normally used for horizontal keyboarding. Compared with STP, unshielded twist pair or UTP has a few layers of shielding. It has two layers, plastic shield and wire insulator, and UTP does not contain additional shielding. As a result, UTP is less resistant to EMI and crosstalk. UTP is the most popular and generally the best option for short and medium length connections in a network. It is good for making patch keyboards. Now let's summarize the differences between UTP and STP. STP and UTP in the same level of category can transmit at the same rate. The throughput depends on other factors such as keyboard category, keyboard quality, and proper installation. In terms of cost, STP and UTP vary, but generally speaking, STP is more expensive. Both STP and UTP use RG45 connectors. STP is more resistant to noise and EMI. In terms of size and scalability, maximum segment length for both types on Ethernet network is 100 meters. Now let's see the differences between the solid core twisted pair and the stranded 
core twist pair. The physical differences are straightforward. One stranded wire is made of a bundle of tiny and thin wire strands, while a solid wire consists of one solid and much thicker metal conductor. Stranded cable is not as good a conductor, but is more flexible and stands up to handling without breaking. It's good for patch cables. Solid core twisted pair cable is better conductor, but it will break if mishandled. TIAEIA specifies that horizontal cabling should always be solid core twist pair. Different maximum bandwidth separates a twist pair cable into different categories or classes, which are stipulated by two main standards, International ISO standard and American TIAEIA standard. ISO uses class such as class A, class B, class C, and so on. TIAEIA standard uses a category. Here I briefly introduce several category rated twisted pair. CAT3 cable is mainly for the telephone system. It is terminated with RG11 connectors. CAT5E. Many modern network use CAT5E. CAT5E is enhanced version of CAT5. CAT5E cable offers maximum bandwidth 100 MHz and can support gigabit Ethernet. It is now the minimum recognized cable for data networking. CAT6 They are capable of transmitting at a higher frequency of 250 MHz and up to 10 gigabits per second of transmission rate. CAT 6E further reduces attenuation and crosstalk, and they can reliably transmit data at up to 10 gigabits per second. Many people believe that, that they need a CAT 6 cable raw in their homes to support their high speed internet. It is not true. As a matter of fact, even CAT 5E is a technically overkill for today's high-speed internet. A typical high-speed internet service to the home is anywhere from 20 megabits per second to 50 megabits per second. CAT 5E cable can support a gigabit ethernet, so for the home, don't waste money on CAT 6 cable. I hope everyone stays healthy and safe. Thank you very much. See you next time.